Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Hash Raptor YouTube channel. I really appreciate you watching. If you would, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I really, really do appreciate it. Hey, so today we are going to do some rig frame fan testing. And I talked about this when we did part one of the studio test rig build as something we wanted to do in the future. And like I mentioned in that video, I typically have fans that I put on the rig frame. I slap them on there. It's one of the last things I do. I plug them in, I make sure they're running, and then I go. And I've never measured how well they actually help out. So I've come up with a couple of tests I wanna run using this 1080. Now this 1080 Founders Edition, it probably needs some new thermal paste because this is one that runs hotter than any of my other cards. So before I do any maintenance on this, I thought it'd be a great candidate to run this test with. So I think what I'm going to do is put this in the rig with no fans running. And I'm going to push it pretty hard, maybe something like 100% TDP. And just see what the temperatures are like. Let it run for maybe 10 minutes, mining eth, something as standard as I can get it. And then I want to do a test with these front fans on right here. So we'd have four front facing fans and I'll probably place the 1080 somewhere here in the middle. And then what I wanna do is add four more fans to the back. Because another thing I'm really interested in is how well does air being put onto the rig and then being taken off help. Because I actually have two of the 12 GPU AAA wave frames and <laughs> it could get pretty nutty uh, but I could put eight on the front and eight on the back so we could have 16 fans on one of those rig frames and that thing <laughs> I mean it might take off it might turn into an airplane and take off I don't know but that would be an awesome test so we're gonna do this today with eight fans and I just want to see what's gonna happen here and see if we can quantify whether it's helpful or not, and, and if so, to what extent. So I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna take this 1080, I'm gonna get it installed inside the rig here, uh, inside our test rig, and I will come back and we'll start our first test. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we've got the 1080 Founders Edition installed, and I've unplugged this fan hub right here that's controlling these front eight fans. So let's get this fired up. Let's jump over to Hive and see what our initial readings look like. Okay, so we're up and running at Hive, and you can see the 1080 is showing up. On our test rig here, we're at 36.59 mega hash, and that is with the fill running. Our current temperature is 72 degrees, and we're at 150 watts on the power limit. Now I've locked the fan to 50%, so that'll help us get sort of some steady readings here as we go. So that's the internal GPU fan. And we're only at 72 degrees right now as we're mining on FHASH. So I think I'm going to crank this power limit up a little bit. Hive does report that this 1080's Founders Edition can go up to 180 watts. Let me go ahead, I'm going to capture all this data, so let me go ahead and grab this 72 degrees. And then we'll just make a new entry for the next test. That jumped pretty quick to 78 degrees Celsius. Let me go ahead and get my next record ready here. All right, so we're still reporting at 78 degrees Celsius. We'll leave that running a couple more minutes to see if that changes any. Okay, so we're saying 193 watts at the wall. I need to adjust that. Okay, so this has been up and running several minutes. I'm gonna increase this power limit wattage to 180. And let's see what that does. 82 degrees. Okay, we'll let that run for a few minutes. Let it bait, no pun intended, and see if it stabilizes at 82. 187, 187 watts at the wall. I think I'm going to try one more adjustment. I'm going to try bringing our fan speed down to 40%. And let's see what that does. So I want to get this hot, but not too hot. 
Huh. Dropped us to 157 watts at the wall. That's pretty interesting. How strange. 162 watts at the wall. Just by dropping the fan 10%. That feels like a Hive driver issue or a Linux driver issue right there. Something doesn't seem right about that. Okay, we're going to get our first test ready. We're going to add four fans. We'll leave the power limit the same. We don't know the rig wattage. And we don't know the temp. Okay, so I'm going to shut the rig down. I'm going to reconnect the fan hub. And we are going to do our first test adding the first four fans with all of the settings here in Hive remaining the same. That's 40% on the fan and 180 watts on the power limit. Let me get that shut down, get everything reconnected, and next time I boot up, you should see these fans spinning. And it's about to get loud in here. Let's power this on. There we go. All right, so the number we want to beat is 82 degrees Celsius. 82 degrees Celsius. Okay, so these fans are running at 100%. They're all in the fan hub, including the CPU fan which is then plugged into the CPU 4-pin port on the motherboard. And these fans, when I plug them in using this fan hub, I have no fan control from the motherboard, just as an FYI. These are all running at 100%. Our first reading is 74 degrees Celsius. Now, <laughs> that's it's great to see, but let's wait for this to bake a little bit here. Let's wait about 10 minutes and I'll be back. Uh, on this next test, I want to try bumping up the internal GPU fan to 50% to match what we saw back here. Our wattage at the wall, so we're at 207. So we jumped. And it's worth noting, I mean, this is a Founders Edition card, so it's got the blower style cooling on it. I have a funny feeling that the driver did something. When I went from 50% to 40%, we dropped, what is that, 26 watts? I like that this 50 number seems a little bit more realistic. I'm going to leave it there. 76, 212 watts at the wall at the moment. I think the best comparison is going to be this one. So the last one we did at 50% and then jump into the one we're doing now. I almost feel like there was something, something funny going on right here. So what we're trying to beat is 82 degrees Celsius, which we've already done that down to 76 degrees Celsius. So far, we've gained, what is that, six degrees Celsius. We'll put that in there as a temporary 76, and we're at 210 watts. Okay, so I wanna add a test here. I wanna add, we're gonna go with no exhaust fans, and we're gonna go with four supply fans. So I'm gonna put the four fans on the back, and we're going to run with those and see what the difference is. And we'll see if we get 75 degrees Celsius or not. All right, let me shut the rig down. Next up, I'm going to get these four 120 millimeter AAA wave fans installed. And we're going to get them put along the back here. And we're going to be supplying air onto the GPU. So let's get this opened up and get it installed. And I'll be right back. Okay, Raptors, we got them installed. We've got our fan hub here. Each of the fans connected and it is connected into the chassis port on the motherboard. So we're gonna get this fired up and see what happens here. The next test we're gonna do, I'm gonna test with only the supply fans here in the back, pushing air on just to see what happens. I'm gonna turn off the front fans over here and we'll see what happens. Okay guys, so you can see we've got the fans in the back installed and they are running. So they're supplying air onto the 1080 and the exhaust fans in the front are off. The CPU fan is on. So the only thing we've got is the GPU fan at 50% and then the supply fans that are running at 100%. We're going to run this test. I'm going to let it bake in high for maybe about 10 minutes just to make sure that everything looks uh, legit, the card's been up and running, and it's stable, and we'll uh, take a temperature reading, and then we'll come back and we will turn on all the fans running at 2100 RPMs each, and we'll see what kind of 
max temperature efficiency we can get by having eight fans on or if it works at all maybe maybe it won't maybe it won't help out i don't know but i've always wanted to know so we're gonna find out right now all right i'll be back as soon as hive's been up and running for about 10 minutes all right guys very interesting we are back and we are running the four supply side fans and we are at 81 degrees Celsius. So in effect, if you remember our first test back here, the GPU fan at 50%, we had no fans, exhaust or supply side running. And we were at 82 degrees Celsius, 82. And right now we're at 81. And at the wall, we're at 215, we'll call it at 215 watts at the wall. So for 35 watts, at least in this test, from 180 watts to 215 watts, we got one degree Celsius benefit. Versus on the four exhaust fans, we were at 211 watts. So, you know, between 211 and 215, probably going to be about the same amount. We were at 75 degrees Celsius. Now, a couple things worth noting here. We're, we're setting up a controlled experiment, but this is a blower style, so it probably is gonna benefit most of the GPUs by having the exhaust fans in the front, helping pull air that's coming out of that exhaust straight out of the front of the blower. And then the other thing worth noting is we don't have this rig loaded up, so we don't have a card on either side of this creating airflow issues, trying to get air sucked in from the environment around it. So I, I haven't proven this, probably need to set up another experiment for it, but I suspect that if you had a fully loaded rig, the supply side fans probably would benefit by creating airflow in between those cards. But for today, for this experiment, one degree Celsius difference is what we saw, just using the supply fans. Okay, now the big test comes. We're gonna put on all eight fans and see kind of what the max GPU temp benefit we can get is in this scenario. So let me get that set up. I'm going to power down the rig. All right, Raptors, we are back. We are up and running with all eight fans running on this 1080 Founders Edition GPU running at 180 watts. And right now, our temperature is 73 degrees Celsius. Hopefully you guys can hear me because these fans, they are <laughs> kicking up. Quite a ruckus here. You can see them going. It's, I gotta say, running at 100% on eight fans, it's pretty impressive, the airflow here. So, all right, let's talk about it. What did we get out of that last test, right? We added four more fans. We've got the supply side and the exhaust side going. And let's see here, at the wall, we'll call it 231. It's been bouncing between 230 and 232. So we'll call it 231 at the wall. And the GPU fan still at 50% locked. We're running all eight fans and our GPU temp is 73 degrees Celsius. And holding. Okay, so just to recap where, where that gets us here. So 50% on the GPU fan with no rig fans at all. So back here at the beginning where we started, there was no rig fans at all. None on the supply side, none on the exhaust side and we got upwards of 82 degrees Celsius. Now the biggest benefit we got was by adding the four exhaust fans that dropped us from 82 degrees Celsius down to 75. Now when we jumped and we added all eight, we got another two degrees Celsius benefit on this 1080 that's being pushed a little hard here. So. The question is, is it worth it? Should you add those four supply side fans? And I think it's, I think so. Now here's, here's what I'm thinking. If you had one card, you would argue like this exact test scenario, probably not. But if I had six cards on this rig or eight cards on this rig and it was cumulative, so two degrees Celsius per card, especially if there are cards that run a little hot, maybe like a 5700 or a 1080, 1080 Ti, something like that, then uh, absolutely, I would say that it's worth it. Now, if you're running really efficient cards, like 1660 Supers, you know, it's probably debatable, probably not. But I would say if you got a cumulative effect of two degrees per card, if you looked at your wattage increase, 
215 watts with four fans on to 231, so 16 watt increase there. To add four more fans to a total of eight fans, getting you to 73 degrees Celsius. I think I would do it if I was building out a rig, and I'm going to probably try to when possible in the future. And then one other thing that caught my eye as I was thinking about it, this whole design, was having a supply side. If you've seen any of my mining cave videos where we're trying to get air in from the vents and we're trying to help that exhaust fan on the shed, these fans right here may actually help pull air from the outside through the shed vents, through the shed filters, and then pull that air onto the rig so the GPU can do its work and these fans can do its work. Now, the last thing I wanted to note, I really think that we need to test a different GPU that's got a different fan style and a different exhaust style. So this is a 1080 Ti, and this video is probably running a little bit long, so I'm probably gonna test this in the next video. But right here, you can see the fins on this exhaust system are vertical. They run up and down on the GPU. So air is being exhausted in a different direction. It's coming out, if this were in the rig itself, air is coming out the top and coming out the bottom. And it's being pulled on by these fans and then blown off. Versus this blower style, these fins are oriented exactly opposite. They're pointed this way. So air is being pulled in through the supply fan on the card and then pushed out out the front with those fins on the GPU so that it's blowing out this way. But here it's coming out the top and bottom. So I really think I need to test this with a different style card. So in the next video, I, I'm, I guess I'll do a part two to this. We'll test the 1080 Ti. We'll test it by itself. We'll test it with just the front and then with both the front and back, the supply and exhaust and see where that gets us. We'll leave off there. If you've got any questions, comments, suggestions, let me know. Okay, guys, I'll uh, I'll finish up there. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Code monkey not saying out loud. Code monkey not crazy. Just proud. Code monkey like Fritos. Code monkey like Tab and Mountain Dew. Code monkey, very simple man. With big, warm, fuzzy secret heart. Code monkey like you.